In this video on uh, importing your content into um, Kindle, I have imported a, a, a chunk of content that I have on Google AdSense. It's something that I own the rights to, so I decided I'm going to put this in and use it as a demo here. I brought it into the template. I brought it in using the template um, Sydney. And so uh, I found that the other templates, we have a little struggle with those. So I'm using the template Sydney for this particular project, which is easy to do because I'd saved and edit, done all my editing inside of the draft editor. If you save and do all your editing inside the draft editor, then it's really easy to change your template at some point in the, in the game. So I've left a couple of things in here that I want to show you. One is there's this drawing right here. Um, th th there's this graphic right here and I'm going to save that. I'm just going to leave that like it is. Um, and then the other one is this one right here. There's one more, but I'm going to show you what I've already done here. I want to, I want to, uh, to do a word wrap with this one. Okay. And then I think I've already done a word wrap here. Yeah. So, and I've just left those two images in. I did that on purpose and you'll see why in just a moment. All right. Everything else is pretty much done. Don't make any difference. The, the headers and the footers don't matter because headers and footers are not going to go in your Kindle book at all. So don't worry about your headers and your footers. Uh, you, you're going to be fine with those just exactly the way that they are. Okay. Um, the other thing here is that I have made an adjustment to the cover. That's the only other thing I really want you to see here. And so I'm going to save this. Let me move this around here so you can see it when I save it. I'm going to save it and I'm going to publish it. Um, so I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to publish this. And I'll publish it from Obi. And I'm going to export. Now while that is grinding out, I'm going to go over here to the Kindle Previewer. Which I highly recommend that you have downloaded this onto your computer. And that you are ready to be able to uh, import your text into the uh, Kindle Previewer. Let's see if we, this is ready yet. Should be ready by now. Uh, okay, there was an error in exporting. And when that happens, the thing to do is to just go back in and do it again. And what you will find is that there is there's occasions when it will not generate, and it just did. So it went through the generation process fine. Um, Again, just click when you see something like that, and you'll find that oftentimes those things work themselves out. So that's this one right here, Kindle 3. I'm going to drop this in here. And if and you'll notice that as this thing as this loads your book, it's giving you the details as to how the program works. And I'm going to get, I'm going to share some of those things with you now uh, because I, be, I honestly believe it will be really helpful to you if you understand just how powerful this previewer is in helping you to um, get your book the way that you want it to be and to look inside of Kindle. So let me see if I can adjust this screen just a little bit um, so that you can see these details up here at the top. Right, for, there we go. I should, should pull that up. Anyhow, um, let me pull this down here so you can see it. And this is my my book right here. But remember, I had justified, I had word wrapped those images. They don't word wrap. All right. Important to remember that inside of Kindle. So, and what you'll understand is that those those images, while they look really cool, maybe in a PDF, they might even look really cool in the book. They don't look so good on Kindle because they disrupt the um, the flow of the content in Kindle. And you have in this preview, you have uh, being able to see that on a tablet. That's one of the reasons why that um, when you go to this, this first page right here, this looks a little funny because you're reading it on a tablet. You're not reading it on a Kindle reader. If I switch this to Kindle reader, then you'll notice that there's a difference here. But here's the thing to remember. Kindle is going to do that to you. Okay. Uh, you also have the ability to change the orientation on that and make sure that you've got... And, and you can see when I do this, that image looks a little funky. It's just, it disrupts the flow of the document, okay? Here's the page before that. Then you have this with one line on it. 
just doesn't look right. And if you want to, if you want to prove that point, you could go, come up here, go to images, and you'll be able to see each of the images and what they look like on the page. Okay. And I only have three because I want to make this really easy plus the cover. So just pay very, very careful attention to what your content is going to look like. Uh, I read almost everything on Kindle on my iPhone. And you can do the iPhone right here and see what that's going to look like on an iPhone. All right, now I'm looking at just the images. Let's go back to all the pages. And I can see what these pages are going to look like if I read them on my iPhone. And again, this is one of those things I just won't pay attention to, okay, in, in my formatting to make sure that this looks like I want it to. All right, and change the font size here, and that makes a big difference in how it looks. But again, we end up with, with, with things just straggling. So what I would suggest that you do in this situation is go back and remove all of the images, okay? Um, what you're trying to create in a PDF is going to be read very differently when you get over to Kindle. So make sure that you understand the differences between those two. The best way I know to do that is to use this Kindle Previewer because that Kindle Previewer is going to tell you exactly what's going on and how this is going to look in the various orientations because you're going to have people who are going to read it in this orientation. You're going to have people who are going to read it in this orientation. You're going to have people who are going to read it on a tablet. And you're going to have people who are going to read it on a Kindle reader. And you need to know what their experience is going to be. Your job is to make sure that they have the best experience that's possible. Not what you would love for it to be, but the experience that they're looking for. And I can, I can assure you that most people aren't looking to have that. That's a cool looking image. But this is just really disruptive from from uh, trying to read this on a reader, okay? So uh, I, I I want you to get that previewer downloaded because it's really going to help you to figure out what's going to be in the best interest in creating the Kindle version of your content. I'm going to go back in this case and I'm going to delete all three of the images that I have right here. I'm going to get rid of all of these and I'm going to make sure that they're gone, okay? Uh, this image, the one below it, and the image with the uh, with the sales pitch on it right here. So I, don't, I want those to go away. Remember, your table of contents is generated. Your table of contents is generated by Kindle. It is not generated inside of Designer. So if you have content that has a table of contents in it, get rid of the table of contents. Duplicate that, delete the table of contents, or go back into your draft mode, import it, uh, and never put a table of contents in it. All of those things will make your life a lot easier if you'll learn to do those as you get ready to uh, produce and publish your stuff on Kindle. And you're going to love it. I mean, you, you, the, the, the Kindle capability is incredible, but you've got to know what it's going to look like trying to help you to understand what it's going to look like because it's what it's going to look like on Kindle that matters, not what it does it look like to you because that's the way you get the best experience for your audience that's possible.